The samurai Hiroki served with loyalty and devotion to his feudal lord, the daimyo of the province of Kyoto. He was a skilled and fearless warrior, who had spent most of his life training in martial arts and honing his sword skills. One day, news arrived that a large army of Mongols was marching towards the daimyo's lands, with the intention of invading and conquering the province. Hiroki knew it was a serious threat, as the Mongols were known for their ferocity and combat prowess. But Hiroki had an advantage, he knew the region like the back of his hand. He had grown up there and spent most of his life exploring every trail, every pass, and every nook. He knew exactly how to use the geography and terrain to his advantage, which would give the defenders a crucial advantage. When the Mongols finally arrived, Hiroki led his fellow samurai in a fierce and skillful defense. They fought with courage and determination, using every tactic and strategy that Hiroki had planned ahead. Although the Mongols were many and well-armed, the Japanese samurai fought with relentless fury. The battle was bloody and fierce, but Hiroki led his men with skill and wisdom, fighting with dexterity and intelligence. When the fight finally ended, the Mongols were forced to retreat, defeated and humiliated. The daimyo was deeply grateful to Hiroki and his men, and honored them with the highest honors and rewards. Hiroki became a legendary hero in Japan, revered for his bravery, loyalty, and skill. His fierce and cunning defense against the Mongols became an example for all the samurai who came after him, a symbol of courage and dedication to the protection of their lands and lords.